all right we have an interesting tutorial today and it's about images this time and this is all about image playground in previous tutorial you have seen chat and text playground this is image playground let me give you an overview what is image playground so image playground lets us experiment with the image models chat playground chat models image playground image models and text playground text models so this is a, like a simple way to remember what uh, like in one liner what it does right and if you look at the architecture diagram we have the input it can be uh, if you have noticed it can be even text and even images i'll show you in a while in the hands-on how it can be images so generally uh, the input is kind of a text and we get an ai generated image and image is so realistic i have seen that um, like uh, the results are even like uh, uh, mind-blowing let's let let's uh, dive into the uh, portal without wasting our time we have uh, here bedrock let's search amazon bedrock we'll click on get started here and as usual we have the playgrounds here let's click on the image playground as soon as i select uh, click on image it shows some kind of a uh, picture it gives us a hint that something is coming up related to images we'll select here the model we have two flavors of it currently amazon and stability ai so for this tutorial we'll again select amazon and select titan image generator g1 and again it will be on demand let's click on apply so as soon as we click on apply if you uh, look we got here the text it's blinking it's uh, waiting for some text so i have also created some of the prompts ready so you can read uh, one uh, nice yellow looking super bike let's click on uh, run here we can uh, select the image size here it, it will be in square format because 1024 into 1024 is a kind of square resolution orientation we can also choose landscape or portrait just like in our mobile phones how we click it right then we have the option to generate the number of images for this i have selected three so three it's generating now and then we have the prompt strength if you look so prompt strength is uh, like determines how the final image portrays the prompt right so we got nice looking um, three super bikes yellow super bikes here right it, uh, it generate and uh, we have the last thing it's called seed so seed uh, generates similar results right to like other uh, like similar kind of results it will generate seed so i hope you uh, like got uh, these parameters what it does we have number of sizes here how we want what type of resolution uh, then again we have negative prompt here so negative prompt is kind of what we don't want to include in our image or what we don't want in our image we can include those even uh, next uh, let us go to the uh, this prompt uh, generate an image that is flying over mountains so let's go here let's um, delete this and we'll input new let's click on a run all right we got nice um, looking airplane which is flying over the mountains these are all ai generated remember right these are not a uh, kind of like any kind of search results which it's up here it's just generates in real time remember i mentioned you one more thing let me delete the text now and let me select generate variations as soon as i select generate variations now our input is a kind of image remember in the architecture diagram just a few moments back i've explained that the input can be the text or even the image as well just the image right so let's now try this interesting feature let's click on upload image and it will redirect to our local computer all right i got a one image file that is this is my picture cloud guru amit the file name is let me browse it double click and let me now click on run here all right we got some variations these are ai generated these are not any kind of like uh, real uh, person existing so these uh, this is generated by ai right uh, it it looks simply like uh, as mentioned it's completely mind blowing results uh, looks completely real to me here if we uh, uh, like we can there are many options as well if if we click on the three dots here we can again generate variations we can remove the object we can replace the background we can replace the object as well so there are tons of variation in the actions tab again uh, if you look the same kind of things is displayed here so just remember three dots almost we will get the same actions here even 
so i hope uh, you uh, found this tutorial helpful so thank you so much for watching this video let's meet in the next gen ai video which gonna be more interesting